Well, domestic flights will resume from the 25th of May. So let's just go across now to Vishnu for more details. The Civil Aviation Minister has just tweeted saying a calibrated resumption. So Vishnu, this comes at a time when India is gradually opening up. How important is this move, especially for the aviation sector? Well, if this move was delayed any further, then I think on an immediate basis, you'd see a couple of airlines, at least in the country, fold. But I think it became fairly untenable for the government at various levels to prevent air traveling from resuming within the country, particularly since railway travel was actually taking place. Now, there are new standard operating pro protocols which are being distributed. They've still not been finalized, but they will be. They'll be sent to airports and to the airlines. There may be gaps, for example, within seats uh, of uh, aircraft which fly on routes. I should also mention that uh, we are not likely to see in the immediate run all air services being resumed. It's going to be calibrated, so perhaps flights on uh, certain routes. My sources in uh, the Civil Aviation Ministry said that the delay was uh, as a result also of state governments not necessarily being in a position uh, to to put buses and taxis uh, on uh, or near airports so that passengers could actually get to the airport and come back. Mm -hmm. Without that in place, that was certainly a problem. So, one Vishal, final do we know point. Which routes, do we know which routes is going to be no. yet? Delhi, Mumbai, we know, of course, is one of the most uh, heavily used routes. Which are the routes that we're expecting uh, to be opened up? Because, of course, the worry is that both Delhi and Mumbai are still red zones. I think it's very difficult to say at this stage. Delhi, Mumbai opening up, imagine that. This is the one of the largest and most congested air routes anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. But with Mumbai being in the situation that it's in, lots of questions need to be raised. I think it's important also to focus on some other parts of the country, for example, the northeast of the country, mm -hmm. which is extensively serviced by smaller aircraft. Now, these aircraft don't have a middle seat, so you cannot have social distancing on these aircraft. So the moment you operate these aircraft, with less than 50% of their capacity, they become unprofitable for airlines to operate. So will airlines be willing to operate all the routes, all the sectors, which they ordinarily would have? Because there has still not been any gain for the aviation sector in the, as a result of SOPs or economic measures announced by the government. So lots of questions, but obviously it's opening up. So are we likely to see then the fares that will be announced as yes. initial flights to be actually higher and perhaps priority for, say, medical personnel or family separated or stranded students? Are there going to be categories of passengers to fly or is yeah. there no clarity yet on that? So 8,000 rupees is the star likely the starting fare uh, from for a Delhi-Bombay flight one way. Now, that's not entirely uncommon if you were to book uh, a day before a flight, before this happened, then you would you possibly even go up. But... That would be an upper range of the, uh, of the fare. So this is one way, starting at approximately 8,000. The, the, the cheapest return would conceivably be about 16, 17,000. That's considerably more, at least four, 5,000 to begin with mm -hmm. than what was the case earlier on. This could go up substantially. We don't know how far uh, as yet. So that gives you an idea of the rates. Now, already we have domestic flights for those who are returning from abroad, they are being taken by Air India to whatever their various destinations are. Now, I was told that it's possible that with Air India very busy with a lot of the foreign evacuations and with further feeder fights, flights right. which are required, domestic airlines other than Air India could be involved. Mm -hmm. So they would be involved in this, but obviously some other key routes would be opened up likely as well.